Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, today I'm just going to make a quick voiceover video of all the maintenance stuff that I did to the IS-200. Uh, includes timing belt, oil, spark plugs, air filters, and loads of other stuff. Uh, yeah, so let's get on with it. Yes! Alright, so we got some uh, coolant because we're going to be draining the radiator for the timing belt. Uh, we've got some casual edge because it's the best. Um, got an oil cap here from D1 Spec. Uh, don't know if it's going to be any good, but it looks kind of cool. It's that oily chrome color. Uh, new oil filter, um, NGK, spark plugs. Uh, we got the auxiliary belt as well. Um, got a and panel filter. Got all the timer belt parts from Japan. And um, there's the original ASIM water pump. And uh, we got NTN, is it NTN? NTN pull, um, pulleys. Uh, Gates timer belt, just like these gates. I'm using all quality parts. And there's I, what I think is the cam seal, uh, camshaft seal, and crank seal, maybe. I'm not going to be changing those today. I did watch some other videos, um, mainly Benny's, actually, Benny's Custom Works. He said that if the seals aren't leaking, then don't replace them. And they're not leaking. Uh, cabin filter as well. So I've literally got all uh, the best possible parts I could get. I wanted the, as much original stuff as I could. So all of this stuff is literally just a major service, and uh, I'm going to do that today. Alright, so draining the radiator is the first step. Just be careful if you take the hose off, because it's going to go absolutely everywhere. Uh, I recommend uh, getting your uh, canisters, or whatever you're going to catch it in, in the right place before you do so, because mine went all over the drive. <laughs> The top um, top airbox is really easy to get off, it's just nuts and bolts. Um, I do clean it off later as well because it was absolutely filthy. And just marking the coils here so I know that they're going to go in the right place when I put them back. And take the spark plugs out, see what kind of condition they're in. They weren't terrible, I've seen worse, but they weren't great either. So there's the comparison, just taking the radiator out now. Hose clips are easy to undo. Taking the alternator belt off and the power steering belt. And there's the uh, water pump pulley, which I ended up putting back on actually to get the crank bolt. Uh, the crank pulley bolt loose. Time and belt cover number one coming off. Pretty simple. Okay, so there's the, the belt trick where you loop it back on itself. It goes over two pulleys and then it takes a bit of uh, pulling on that breaker bar to get it off. Lining the timer marks off. Up, sorry. There's the harmonic balancer off. That can be hard to get off as well, but we can use some pulley tools to get that off. There's the new tensioner. Okay, there's a four, a size four um, Allen key in there because I couldn't fit a five in, which was apparently what you're supposed to do. So you can pull that off. You need to keep, uh, you know, tension on the on the ratchets there as well as you do that. There's the guide pulley coming off. That was quite tight, so you might want to get a breaker bar on that if someone's tightened it down too much. Just taking the uh, timer belt off. Just make sure you don't move any of the marks. And also make sure that they are marked if this is the first time. It's pretty simple to do. Now, you could see there in the last part that there was a lot of crystallized coolant at the bottom. That's because the coolant, uh, that's because the water pump was leaking. I filed, um, not filed it down, I sanded it down with probably, I think it was 600 and then brake cleaner just to clean it off and make sure everything was smooth. Uh, make sure to put the new gasket on as well and don't tighten these bolts down too much because I did shear that one I'm putting in now because I did it too tight. So time and belt goes on, it got dark by this point and I ended up carrying on the next day, pulling the pin out. Make sure when you put the timer belt on, you start from the bottom and then put the uh, put it on the top last. It's two rotations just to see if the timer marks are in the right place. There's the crank seal or the guide. 
for the timing belt. Knock at the crank seal it is the it is the um, the guide for the, the belt to make sure it doesn't come off or hit the back of the pulley. Timing belt cover and harmonic balance are back on and tighten it up to I think it was 240. But I think I did it a little bit more than that. I just used the the torque wrench up to 240 and yeah, just did it the rest of the way with the breaker bar as much as I could. Changing the filter here. I had to put I had to cut that belt off as you saw in the last the last thing because it was stuck. But it was an old belt anyway. Always use an old belt to do that. Okay, just putting the uh, K and N filter in here. Not gonna see any power gains from this. So, but it does make a cool sound, which I'll show at the end. Is the old spark plugs and the new ones that are gonna go in. I switch from I think Bosch to NGK, but again, not gonna be a whole lot of difference there. Right, it's putting the coil pack packs back on. And uh, the airbox. This is all really straightforward stuff. Again, just nuts and bolts. Make sure you plug the math sensor back in and uh, all the other tubes and make sure everything's tight and stuff. Just clean it off here with Ultimate Black by Meguiar's because it's amazing at restoring plastics if they're faded a bit. And now I'm just going to change the cabin filter which is pretty pretty dirty there put a clean one back in ah, that looks so much better um to get the to get this glove box out all you have to do is pinch the sides and you'll see it where I put it back in there see I'm pinching the sides so it's the same for removing it removing it and putting it back putting some clean screen wash in I did drain the tank first and now I'm changing the oil. I don't know when the last time that oil was changed, but it was certainly at least over a year ago. And this looks cool, but I don't know if it's going to be a good thing to add. Um, hopefully it's it's just as robust as the, the old one. I don't know too much about D1 Spare. So I used um, the Toyota Premixed Pink. This is the moment of truth. Let's see. And it works. See, it does have that cool whooshy sound. Uh, temps are fine. And I'm just going to do a quick scan to see if any codes are thrown up, which they are not. RPM for this, nice to sit around 650 for these cars. Uh, 50 either way isn't really a big problem. And there's all the old stuff that I've taken out, so the car must run a lot better now. Yo, if you have any questions at all about anything that I did in the video, uh, just leave a comment below and I'll, uh, I'll answer it as best as I can. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you want to see any more on the IS200. I've got loads of other stuff coming up for it. Um, I think the next video is going to be exhaust, then we've got suspension, uh, lighting, bodywork, uh, brakes, wheels. So uh, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.